Ahead of Thursday night's primetime hearing into the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol, the House Select Committee previewing what they're making public using must-see TV buzzwords. The panel of seven Democrats and two Republicans say they'll be sharing previously unseen material about what it calls the coordinated, multi-step effort to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election and prevent the transfer of power. The idea that all of this was just uh, a rowdy demonstration that um, spontaneously got a little bit out of control is absurd. Speaking to The Washington Post ahead of the first hearing, Representative Jamie Raskin, one of the Democratic members of the committee, says the panel has found evidence on former U.S. President Donald Trump that supports, quote, a lot more than incitement. Our country has had enough. We will not take it anymore. And that's what this is all about. I think that uh, Donald Trump and the White House were at the center of these events. That's the only way really of making sense of them all. Trump has denied wrongdoing and has accused the committee of engaging in political attacks. Taped testimony from the former president's top aides and family members will be shared over several hearings, with at least two more sessions set for next week and more later this month. There's no real mystery here about what happened. There isn't. That's why I don't know that we're going to see really significant revelations. Simon Rosenberg is a Democratic strategist. He says after the committee's roughly year long probe into the deadly siege that's included more than 1000 interviews, the panel is facing a communications challenge. I think the committee is very aware that they have an obligation just to tell the story. I think there's going to be a very uh, deliberate attempt to keep it simple and to tell the story about what happened that day, to lay it out in, in detail. Something to keep in mind, this is not a legal hearing. Details could be used in future proceedings, but one of the goals the committee says is to figure out how to keep this from happening again. There's a political angle too, with Democrats looking to give voters attention ahead of the November midterm elections. Now, Republicans have downplayed the events of January 6th. The Republican National Committee dismissing it as ordinary citizens engaged in legitimate political discourse. Now, conservative media giant Fox News not carrying the hearing live like a whole slew of U.S. broadcasters. But a reminder, though, Monday was 17 months since the attack on the Capitol. And it is part of one of the biggest investigations in the history of the U.S. Justice Department. I want to run through some of the numbers with you. So far, there have been more than 800 people charged, 310 convicted, one acquitted, 500 plus still pending. The Associated Press breaks it down, punishments ranging from probation to more than five years behind bars. Now, the most serious cases, though, for alleged seditious conspiracy. Now, that calls for a sentence of up to 20 years in prison, trial for that, begins later this year. Melissa Duggan, City News.